So I'm always talking about how a bigger muscle is always going to be a stronger muscle. And because of this, a lot of people are going to ask me, Alex, if this is true, how come I see a lot of skinny dudes that are lifting all kinds of weight, but I also see a lot of big dudes that are lifting bitch weight? So for those individuals, let me clarify things. I'm going to break it all down for you. So number one, you have to understand that physiologically, if a muscle gets bigger, if the cross-sectional area increases, you will produce more force. A stronger muscle is a bigger muscle. That is a 100% physiological fact. You cannot escape it. Read any textbook. You'll know that what I'm saying is true. So even if we have situations where skinny individuals are lifting all kinds of weight, they are still getting bigger from it. I can give you an example from Max Tuning, for instance, right? When he began his YouTube channel, he was deadlifting about 545. Now he's in the 600s, I believe. And although you may not see it, it's not super noticeable. He has gotten bigger even despite the leverages, even despite the amazing genetics. So you have to realize this, that this is a 100% truth. If the muscle gets stronger, it's bigger. So this begs a question. How come some people are getting strong but not big? Well, it comes down to a couple of things, right? It would be drugs and genetics. And when I say genetics, I'm referring to two things mainly. Actually, three. First would be the muscle belly fullness, okay, or the insertion point. Uh, a great example would be the biceps. Some people, they have biceps that go down all the way to their forearms, okay? Uh, those types of individuals, when they flex, they're not going to have a peak. But when they're just relaxed, they're going to have these massive-looking arms, okay? Some people also, with the forearms, they attach, like, right down to the wrist. Mine are actually uh, built in this way. I have excellent premium bodybuilding form genetics. It, go it goes right down to the wrist. There's, like, this much space, okay? So, with the longer a muscle belly, the more potential you have to fill it up in size. This is also why people who have high calf insertions, they don't tend to have the best calves. Many times, the best people, the people who have amazing calves, it's just a low insertion point. It attaches super low to the ankle, which is not really good for performance, but for bodybuilding purposes, it's absolutely everything. So a lot of these dudes that you're seeing, they're not actually that big. They're not as big as you think. It's just that their muscle belly attaches so low to the tendon that it just makes them look so much bigger, okay? So that's like the primary thing right there. Bodybuilding genetics means you have long muscle bellies. They're full, okay? They have a good shape to them. That's what gives you the size. And this is also why some people who have like six inch arms, it doesn't look as good as another dude has six inch arms. It's because of what I'm describing, where it attaches, okay? So always think about that. The longer it is, the lower it attaches, the bigger potential it is to grow, okay? So that's the number one thing. Uh, secondly would be the leverages, okay? You have to understand that some people are more built to lift a lot of weight than others. Like in the deadlift, uh, I've known tons of dudes who got pulled 600 pounds, but they look like shit. Why? Because their leverages allow them to do so. But just because you could pull 600 doesn't mean you could row over three plates for reps. And again, going back to Max Schooning, he's an excellent example. He's not strong at rows. He's not strong at weight of pull-ups. You understand? So the only reason why he could pull so much weight, it's not because he's a super strong beast. No, it's because of his leverages. You understand? So when, when you're looking at these dudes, you, you can't just think of it, how much are they lifting? You have to look at their general strength as a whole. And nine out of ten times, they're just good at a few lifts. That's why they appear strong. And uh, some people, they're going to say, like, you can train to get this type of strength. And no, it's not true. It comes down to genetics. For example, Richard Hawthorne, right? There's no system on the planet that can give you a body like Richard. That is called having premium leverages and premium uh, attachment points, okay? That's what gives him that type of strength. So you can't replicate that. The only way that you can have this amazing relative strength is if you have the genetics for it, okay? And then there's also another thing, which is the drug intake. There are some drugs that will make you stronger, like automatically, but not necessarily bigger. I don't really know what those compounds are, as I'm not fam too familiar with that. But uh, there are some drugs that can facilitate that. And then likewise, there are some drugs that can make you get bigger without getting stronger. And that would be most uh, anabolic steroids. Like if you're just upping the dose, number one, your shoulders, traps, or pecs will get bigger automatically. And of course, the same could be said for the rest of the body. So that's really what it comes down to. When we look at individuals who are getting really, really big but not strong, it's because of uh, drugs and genetics. Genetics being uh, the leverages. They probably have bad leverages, meaning they have to do a lot more force. Uh, and their, their uh, attachment points on the muscle, the muscle belly fullness, all that stuff is perfect for bodybuilding purposes. And I gave you the example of the forearms where mine, it attaches right down to the damn wrist, which makes it appear larger than it actually is, all right? So this is, this is for people who are, they look big, but they're not strong. And then the other guys is because it's a precise opposite issue. They have very long tendons, okay? And uh, you can't really see the muscles that well. And they have perfect leverages for certain lifts. So that's what it is. It's drugs and genetics, nothing more. There's no training style that could facilitate that. All right. So just work with what you got. My advice is keep getting stronger. That's the only way you're going to get big in the long run. And if you don't, well, I guess you become a relative strength guy. Maybe you can compete in powerlifting. So that's it for today, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think down below.